Northeast Conference football action on ESPN3. And Duquesne knocks off the homestanding Sacred Heart Pioneers by the count of 20 to 6 in Fairfield, Connecticut. Paul Dottino and Rashid Marshall with you. And in the first quarter, both teams involved in a tug of war. Not much going for either side. And then in the second quarter, Daniel Parr, the Duke's quarterback, wound up throwing two touchdown passes. Daniel Parr was able to get a hold of this offense. He found Kellen Taylor off of the left side on an easy slant pattern. Kellen Taylor, the big body receiver, able to get between the defender and the ball, hauling a five-yard score. Parr would finish the day 15 of 26 for 149 yards and the two scores. Now, before he threw his second touchdown pass, the running game got going with A.J. Hines and Mark Allen. This is where Duquesne really started to open things up on the run game. Two huge left chunk runs off the left side. But again, A.J. Hines, Mark Allen, using that speed, really starting to slice up this Sacred Heart defense. Hines would finish the day with uh, 142 yards on 29 carries, 60 yards on 15 carries for Allen as that dual threat got things going, and then par through his second scoring strike of the quarter. Second scoring strike of the quarter, and that went to Mayfield on a five-yard out. Good route running by Mayfield, and again, good ball delivery by Parr. Okay, but in the third quarter, it was 17-0 Duquesne, and then Sacred Part star running back Julius Chestnut, one of the top five rushers in the nation, knocked one off 61 yards for pay dirt. 61 yards for a touchdown. This was on a huge third and three play call, but all he needs is a crease, and Julius Chestnut took it to the house from that point. And then finally, basically, Duquesne was able to methodically take care of business and walk out of here with a 20 to 6 win. They came up with three interceptions on the day. Harrison Ducros coming up with his second one here. And this was the last big play of the day so for Ducros in the right time at the right play at the right time you got a deflection out the line of scrimmage he was able to haul this one in another big play on the board for Duquesne so Duquesne knocks off Sacred Heart 20 to 6.